ready? Yep. to another episode of Undead Outdoors. I'm your host Braxton. So on this hunt we're in the de in the deserts of Idaho hunting for big old antelope bucks. It didn't take us long to find our first shooter buck. He was right off the side of the road within the first 20 minutes of the hunt. We stopped out and glassed him. Then we went in to go stalk him. So how does he look? He's pretty good. You can't see him like 100% but he's he's rad. He's looking right at us. After the bust on the first stock, we decided just to walk the desert to see if we can find another shooter buck or find this buck. Looking for a big animal. As you saw earlier, we were on a stock of one.
this track road. Shortly after we got on another stock of them and it was a long, hard put in stock. As you saw there on that stock when Lewis was belly crawling, the buck had went into the alfalfa field shown on the last clip and we couldn't get back on him to get another stock. The next few days were a completion of the stock for, the stock for smaller bucks that we couldn't get on and bucks we just ended up passing, passing on the middle of the stock. And there's only a few b-roll clips that I really have of this, so here they are. Final day of the hunt, Lewis went out by himself with his with his homemade decoy, and let's just say the success finally was met. And we're rolling. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can tell, the decoy behind me worked. Sorry. Just been excited. Can't even breathe. But yeah, it worked pretty good, it looks like. We've got a pretty nice little buck here. Heck of a lot bigger than last year's, and with the 50 cal, muzzle it or no less. Sorry I couldn't get it on film. It was kind of hard to chase antelope with a card with a piece of cardboard as well as film it and shoot the darn thing so I did the best I could and here I am. Nice buck. Very nice buck. I mean no monster but pretty good for Idaho I'd say. So what happened was I was over there 
sitting waiting with the decoy on the corner of the field. And and um, saw some antelope off in the distance. I was like, I wonder if, I wonder if this buck's in there, because I've been watching this buck for a few days. So I started looking, seeing if that buck was in there. And I thought I could see a darker one, which would be the male, the big buck. And, and as soon as I peeked out, the decoy, the does were gone. Oh, it was way out there. I think I can see him now, actually, on the other, whatever. Anyway. Um, so, as soon as I peeked over, saw the does right around there. I was going, crap, I wonder if that buck's with them. And I peek over again, and just behind a piece of sagebrush, this buck was running right at me. He came about 600 yards. So I waited for him to get towards me. I started punching the ground and wheezing at him, and he started running full blast at me. And then I, um, he stopped to turn because I think he saw me behind the cardboard. He stopped to turn and stared at me. And then I shot him. It wasn't a great shot. I had to do a follow-up shot, but I think it worked good enough. Pretty happy. Pretty nice buck, I would say. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you see, make sure you like, comment, and tell all your friends about the, about our channel. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, which will be right here. Or if you want to see another video, here's our duck hunting video of this year and la of 20, early 2019 and, to and uh, our last year's 2018. Or if you just want to see another video, here's a random video right here. Thank you guys so much and see you next time.